hello and welcome back to my channel this is mrs always right this is today another wonderful day <laughs> so i'm very grateful to god first for taking care of this channel and also giving us the grace to carry on so first of all share a lot a lovely cup of tea from me and let's have a cup of tea first and thank you for watching oh yes lovely so this channel is mrs always right and mr right channel so today it's been a very wonderful day and first of all i have to say a very big thank you to god for keeping us all in good condition in good terms good health in everything god is there for us and also thank you to all my subscribers my returning subscribers anybody that is watching these videos today and thank you thank you thank you may god continue to bless us so today i don't want to waste too much time so i'm just going to talk briefly about what we call the meaning of easter and you might be surprised and you will be shocked as well why we celebrate Easter so many things has a lot of meanings and something behind it because it's all have to be really explained and there's nothing that is going to be that I'm making it up because if you google if you go through the history the, the, what is behind the celebration of Easter there's a lot of things we have to know as Christian sometimes we might not understand it so every year just after the full moon the preceding the new season of spring that is before the spring yeah around the world around the world people celebrate what is called Easter with eating of chocolates, eggs or Easter bunny or giving gifts also the children leaving holiday leaving for a holiday from school they have no idea the origins of this ancient spring pagan or ritual worship it somehow like witchcraft, witchcraft worship when people hunt for eggs so many Christians also have been meant to believe and thinking that the name Easter means time to remember the celebration to celebrate the death and rising of our Lord Savior which has happened at Passover due to the Roman Catholic Church introducing the pagan ritual giving the gift to the villagers practiced during their pagan spring celebration which coincide with the catholic church remembering the death of and the resurrection of jesus which happens at spring too to entice the villagers to entice the villagers to come into their church so who did the pagan worshippers uh, worship during the spring and gave us the name Easter? So I'm just saying, according to my own understanding and all my research about it, yeah. So a goddess named Oyster, that is E O S T R E, which was the goddess of sex and fertility. So it has been so it has been worshipped by Babylonians and what they call Ishta I S H T A R. This is the season where we see eggs, which symbolize the new life, which is used in what they call witchcraft, and the bunny, which represents sex and reproduction. So when we say Easter, we are speaking in the name of goddess, a demon who was worshipped and sacrificed by pagans. So it is 
either witchcrafty or idol idolatry, which God's head. So Jesus, Jesus became our Passover lamb when he died for just after the full moon and the beginning of the spring. At that time, Passover was held in Israel. That is hallelujah for that. So Passover was held in Israel by the Jews. And a year to remember when the children of Israel placed the blood of lamb on the doorway entrance to their homes. So the destroyer passed away and did not take their firstborn son, which was introduced for Pharaoh and his people of when God delivered his people from Egyptian slavery and into freedom. So when we remember what Jesus did for us on the cross and was being raised again, we call it Passover. He became our Passover lamb. So hallelujah to that. It has nothing to do with God's name, Esther. Which, which is Easter. So, in our, in my own, in our home, we do not say Happy Easter. Huh? So, we do not say Happy Easter. We say Happy Passover to each other. Passover celebrate, celebrated from God, uh, from Good Friday is what we call Resurrection Sunday. On Resurrection Sunday, we share a special family meal and take communion as a family. That is a tradition as well. So we do not repeat this name of pagan goddess, which is personally believed to be a problem to God, which God died so that we could be set free from the causes such as idolatry and witchcraft, triumphanting, Triumphing um, over the enemy, when you triumph over your enemy and giving us authority over the realms of darkness, including every goddess, our precious Savior, Lord said, has nothing to do with worshipping of goddess, in which is a fact, a demon. So I understand, if I'm saying happy Easter, or if somebody says happy Easter to me, others because they may not know the truth about the origin of Easter. But expect time to reply to your greeting with a happy Passover and happy Resurrection Day. Remember, we are in the world, but no longer of it. So we do not do as the world does. And still, under the way of the enemy, we are heavenly citizen and we are a new creation in christ we celebrate him and worship him only him and thank you so i research the true meaning of easter to know for, for myself which actually meant for a new year and it's shocking to find out the truth so i hope this post helps you to understand why we should not celebrate Easter, but we call it celebration of Passover lamb, our Lord Savior, who died for the remission of our sin on the cross. And he, he conquered and triumphed over all the realms of darkness, and he lifted us up with him to heavenly places, seated in this position, and hallelujah to this. And thank you everybody for listening i hope you will learn from this video because this is doesn't have any hatred on any other people worshiping their god but i'm just expressing my own view about difference between easter and the celebration of passover of the lord jesus how he was killed and he was there to save our life. So there is a bit of complication in this meaning of Easter. And God bless everybody. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. And as you see, it's very 
sunny outside which is very good weather today so i hope everybody will enjoy this new spring and our flowers are all coming out blooming so i will get you to know more about this season and thank you for watching and god bless you and bye bye and bye